Order of Business, a presentation from our high school. Mr. Herlinski. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be very quick. I'm going to turn this over very fast. Just thank you for having us here tonight. We have something special we'd like to share with you. Um, and because it's their baby, I'm going to let them talk about it. Two best assistant principals in the state, Kate Crowley and Lorian Moore. So they're on. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so on behalf of Lorian, thank you for having us here tonight. Um, we'd like to introduce you to Dr. Sandy Cavanaugh and Mrs. Natalie Johnson. Uh, Dr. Cavanaugh teaches for our technology education department and Natalie Johnson teaches in our business department. They're here tonight really to talk about the student store concept that they're really bringing to life. Um, it started as just a, an idea, as, as a dream for our Dr. Cavanaugh with the assistance of Ms. Laney, with the assistance of Mr. Holinsky, I mean, working with Mrs. Moyer, we've really been able to bring this to life. Um, it's gonna be implemented next year. It's a cross-curricular STEM-based um, curriculum that we're hoping to implement and expand over a three-year time period. Uh, anything you would like to add to that? Just, um, we have some new courses that are coming out of this. So um, next year, Ms. Johnson will be teaching entrepreneurship too, and we're hoping um, the year after that we can have more sections of that class. Um, and we started looking at future of the school store, and they're gonna to talk to you about that a little bit, not just the inception right now, but where we're leading. Um, and they have started their first uh, endeavor, and are you gonna talk about that with the t-shirts? Okay, perfect, so we'll let them do this kind of fancy stuff. Thank you. We have a couple of uh, flyers that we'd like to pass out to you, uh, just as reference. We're going to take a whole lot of your time. It's me and you have one? Thank you very much for uh, thank you uh, <coughs> here tonight and talk to you about this really great, exciting thing that we're doing. We have already started uh, the, the store. My classes, the Foundations of Technology class and Technology Education students, have been producing items since the beginning of the year when we uh, realized that you know we're really going to try to put this thing on and make it go forward. So we, we've got um, a lot of stuff uh, that we are planning to actually. Uh, sell before the school year ends or at least um, put it on for sale. We have created a uh, temporary uh, stand that we plan to place in the high school and set up our goods and we have some samples here to show you. We plan on this being a, a hands-on learning laboratory for the kids. So not only are we going to be integrating um, the technology <laughs> education students and teaching them manufacturing processes, how equipment works, um, how, uh, how flow charts work, how processes um, are created to create um, designs and then an actual product. But our marketing teacher is um, going to be handling the finance part of it. All right. So in the business department, we are um, incorporating several of our classes in with Dr. Kavanaugh's. So right now, currently, my marketing class is working um, with her Foundations of Technology class, and we're doing the promotional side of things. Um, what we're doing right now, we can talk about the, um, the Senior Volleyball Team T-shirt project. So the school store students um, in the Foundations of Technology class are making the T-shirts, and we are promoting their sale. We have had students in my classes come up with the um, advertising materials, such as the CMTV news spots, and flyers that we posted in the hallway. And the students in marketing class have also made the forms to um, have the students design their um, volleyball t-shirts on. So that's just one um, example of how you know we're teaming up to bring a, t a couple different disciplines into working the school store. Next year, um, Mrs. Moyer alluded to the fact that there being an entrepreneurship two um, class introduced. And so I have one section of that next year that's re really all my schedule could handle we're quite full we're bursting at the seams um, so hopefully you know I can get a couple more sections because those students are going to be working the store um, you know dealing with finances keeping track of product inventory and sales records and scheduling needs um, and so right now with there only being one section you know we'd, we'd like to see there we are also planning on um, looking at like three sections of the store, the production part, where we, right now we just have uh, two, so we're already seeing an advance in that. 
What's coming around to you is the prom ticket. Mm -hmm. uh, we have sold these to our senior class. We are making a profit on these, and we would use this funding, this, this profit that we're making, to buy the t-shirts for our senior volleyball teams. So uh, we are trying to um, elicit some um, additional funding. We're working with That's the right. Horizons Foundation. We're very excited to be working with them and talking to them about what we're doing. And we're also applying for grants um, to help us uh, supply the uh, materials and the substrates that we need for printing on and any of the fixtures for the store in the renovation. We're hoping that we might have a permanent fixture within the high school for a school store if that's possible and really just throw this thing out of the water. We have a three year plan. So this year we're calling it kind of like our testing year. Next year is going to be year one, of course. And this is that's going to be like our product year where we just you know, we kind of just fill things out and see, see what sells, see what doesn't sell. Second year, we're hoping we can just build on that. Third year, we plan on including our special needs students, which is a very exciting part of this. We visited Upper St. Clair High School, and they have a school store, but it's, it's a little different makeup. Maybe you have maybe seen there was an article in the paper yes, about it last yes. couple weeks ago in the photo. Yeah, I saw it. So we would like our students to partner with our special needs students as well. Mm -hmm. Those students are very capable of making some products, uh, maybe not quite some of the things that, that our tech ed students make, but in a different way that, where they can contribute very well. And they can also be actually part of they won a prize. Yes, they did. They won a national prize. Yes. Um, I was at the national convention, and there were three schools in the country, and they were the ones from our area with the um, attendance. I guess they had, they had five thousand kids and under for their school district, and they won. They won a lot of money. Yes, they and did. it was it was that program. Yes. Now, is it how is that associated, or how is it run like similar to the uh, junior achievement type of a, of a you know? Get a product, make a product, sell it, all that. Is it similar to that? I mean, I, I'll be able to answer that because you're secondary and you mm -hmm. guys are probably not familiar with the junior achievement curriculum. So, the junior achievement mm -hmm. curriculum is usually pushed at the elementary levels and they do it. Well, they used to do it in high school. Oh, no, it was definitely high school. All right. Well, yeah. Mr. Chambers, I don't remember having it in his building <clears throat> we had it at the elementary level. We did it at the high school. They, we always did it at the high school. So, both of their classes mm -hmm. have elements mm -hmm. of that curriculum okay. within each of their classrooms. So, it's, so it's on a similar basis it, to Jet to yeah. And in that t shirt, uh, you, did so, you guys print it or was it printed at the high school? Or? We did this. This is something that we can do. Right now, this, this no, is a vinyl yeah. printed t shirt. So, okay. this is vinyl that we use that, okay. that we can cut out with our vinyl potter that we currently have. We didn't have to purchase this. Machine. Make sure you put a dash between the cannon and the <laughs> We noticed that. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> Believe me, manual, manual will make a point of that. Yes, yes. So. Thank you. That's a good idea. That's very nice. But, um, this, this will be how we will make, this will be the process for making the yeah. senior volleyball t-shirts. Yeah. This fine. yeah. However, with the funding that we got from our administration, we were able to purchase a really nice screen printing equipment. Wow, we're going to be able to print four colors, uh, faster, quicker, cheaper. You uh, can actually better. end up printing... And weeks in, in, in for football games. That's, yeah. that's their goal. Now, if you remember, we talked years ago, I remember Manuel was one of the guys who was going, people were stealing our logo and stealing our money. And and I was just in, it's a Rite Aid, I guess, by Shopping State. Absolutely, I, I was see just it. in there yesterday. I almost took a photo. I didn't want to look like you know a crazy person taking photos and writing. But, I mean, there's a whole rack. I know. And I, I know we don't, I don't know if we get anything at all. I doubt yeah, we, we do. do. A little bit. But this is going to take... You know, this is going to take some of that market away, um, and our kids will actually be able to come in and buy um, stuff at the, at the store. Sure. So we're very excited about bringing back some of this back in the house because, again, it's you know it goes back to that logo we talked about years ago, trying to put some kind of market on it. Well, this will this will start that market. So another thing that in our classes we uh, talked about, we have uh, a pep right. squad at the high school. They call themselves the Cannon Crazies and. Um, during the various seasons of sports, they come together and they might state that, uh -oh. for example, this Friday night oh, no. football game is a camo. I don't like the black. And so, oh, black. Should, um, I don't like the black. Don't like the black. No. <laughs> no. 
Blue I like black. black. That's my favorite color. Blue and gold. Hold the white one in front. Hold the white one in front. Yeah. Yeah. This won't have white for today, but they're both good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we like it, but black's my favorite color. color. That one's nice. Like, yeah. Are they allowed to keep things? Yes, yes. Okay, uh, with another piece of equipment that we, re we recently yeah. received, courtesy yeah. of our administration, cute, we can print a color colored vinyl sticker. Uh, this is a oh, sticker you that, you're, that you're seeing. You can have this. This is our little logo that we designed. It's going to be smaller. We're going to put them on the back of all of our Everybody shirts. Everybody just keep one with this back case and then keep one. But we can also use this piece of equipment to print out a t-shirt decal that can be ironed on in full color as well. Yeah. And also window clings and, you know, a lot of stuff. With I mean, you could actually buy almost anything week to week and sell for games. And yes. The, like, a manual, actually, we used to buy, like, pom-poms on a stick every week or ribbons every week. Oh, or yeah, mums, yeah. mums, back then, the girls wore mums for the game. But, I mean, you know, it was all fun, and, and that that's a really nice thing for the kids. I think they'll enjoy that. Spirit, the, uh, really nice. So we would just ask if this is just going to be open for students, and our goal is that we are asking for funding here in a grant now, we're starting the grant for a, a, a portable kiosk that has wheels that we can load up and perhaps take to football games. It will be available at the high school whenever there are games or events at the high school where parents idea. can purchase. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea as well. And there idea. has also been discussion amongst us about expanding into the other schools within the district. If they're interested. If they're interested. And the other administrators at this point seem to be interested. Once we make sure we have a good foot underneath, you us. need a trailer. <laughs> yeah. You need a trailer yeah. with a flip up. Well, definitely the, right. the being in, in the goal too. You know, target ninth grade parent orientation, yes, ninth grade um, move up day, yeah, graduation, yes, big events at the high school. So outside community members that are coming in can also have a chance to well, buy those goods as well. If you, so. it, that would be a really great thing on orientation day for the parents to have your kiosks open and people could yeah. buy kids for the school before they even get there. That's I have nice. a question. I don't know how it would work, though, but um, I know a lot of um, teams and so on sell spirit wear fundraisers. Is there any way that they could partner with that, too? Yes. You know what I mean? That they could still get some money, but I know that you're for we'd profit. Like, we would like to be the first. Um, we'd like to get the first right of refusal. <laughs> um, we're hoping they'll come to us first and say, what can you do? And if we can't meet you know, their need for some reason, right. just, then please, by all means, go the big D's or wherever else. Right. But we're going to put out the fact that we would really strongly be very happy if they would come and, and make us their first priority. Do you have a screen for So maybe Frank or me? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. Right? You just spent spend a lot of money and you get some nice Frank stuff. to meet with your boosters or whomever. Yeah. Yeah, we'll let them know. Again, out. They're, again, they're pumping money into the community and we appreciate that. And there's some things we may not be able to do because of time constraints or uh, materials constraints. But... You know, we want to. We'd like our share of the market. Yeah, I think that's a great yeah. idea. I mean, but are you are you are you looking at putting in shirts and uh, hoodies and stuff? But you know, maybe a different quality of product. You know, maybe that's what they're looking for more like a fur. I mean, you know, you can't our, do those things. Maybe. Right. Our students have talked about that, and right off the bat, they are saying we want a nicer T-shirt. They like a different kind of a feel of a T-shirt, and we can do that. But our price is going to. Uh, absolutely, you're going to have to have low Ken, end and high end. Ken said, are you saying for St. Clair? The company, go ahead, tell me. About what about that? So with Upper St. Clair, they have a, a parent in the community who owns a t-shirt company. And so they are willing to donate the t-shirts at cost to that program in Upper St. Clair. So if that gentleman buys tens of thousands of t-shirts every month, he produces all the Penguins t-shirts, everything like that. He's able to sell these shirts to the students for like a dollar, and then they're able to make a bigger profit and a bigger margin. Um, on their t-shirts. So we're hoping maybe through the Horizon Foundation, maybe there's some businesses out there that have materials, you know, or something that they can give us to us so that we can make a bigger profit or a bigger bigger margin for us and then reinvest it in our students and our school and their educational programs. And just to touch on, you brought up the junior achievement. One of the things we'd like to eventually do is Upper St. Clair took a program called Partners from Baldwin and, and with their school store, it's a partner's curriculum. And so students would would basically take a school store class and they'll get credit for working with our, our life skills and artistic support students as part of a class for going into their classroom and working with them on transition skills and job related training skills. So that's where we envision it maybe three, four years down the road 
incorporating that through a partner's type curriculum. That's one of our long-term vision and goals as well. So we talked about how the life skills kids currently go out to the community as they're ending their time with us. So maybe our program is the first step to introduce them to the workplace environment, and then they go from our transition, our partner class, if you want to call it that, into their workplace environment out in the community. Good job. Perfect. Thank you. Very yeah, good. good job. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Excellent. One of the things that I wanted to say is you're, you're seeing career pathways. So our teachers have been teaching different career pathways, from entrepreneurial classes to business classes to technology classes, but now that they're putting it to work. And that's something we're going to continue to hear in education is are these career pathways. So we've been doing them, and now we're refining them and doing them in, in amazing ways to make it um, like they're living out in the world in that career. Thank Very good. Thank you. Thank you, lady. Thank you. Nice job. <clears throat> Recognition.